Hello, my name is Shobha. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to reset or clear a list variable in B2B data transformation. The agenda for the video is as follows. Variables in DT, what is a list variable, clearing a normal variable, clearing a list variable, summary and feedback. Let me give a brief introduction to variables in a DT project. Variables in a DT project can be system variables or user-defined. User-defined variables are used for temporary storage in the same way that you use an XML element attribute. For example, you can map a content anchor to a variable and you can use that variable as the input of an action. There are two types of user-defined variables, single occurrence or multiple occurrence. A variable that can occur only once is called single occurrence. A variable that can occur more than once is called multiple. They behave differently when the script stores data in them. For example, when you map content anchors to a variable. In a single occurrence, each assignment overrides the preceding assignment. In a multiple occurrence, each assignment generates a new occurrence of the data holder. Let us now see a demonstration on how to reset a list variable. A normal variable or a single occurrence variable can be reset using a set value action, whereas the same wouldn't work in the case of a list variable. In this DT project, my list is the list variable which has to be reset or cleared. V replacement is a temporary list variable or an empty list variable that that will be used for mapping. So the method that is followed here for resetting is mapping an empty list variable onto the required one. So here I have a parser that reads a text input. It has a repeating group where we are doing a search for the separator asterisk followed by another repeating group which is the nested repeating group here we are doing a text search for a single white space character within which we have the content anchor now the content anchor will find the first first digit in the first iteration that is one one will be inserted into the my list variable in the second iteration two will be appended to the my list variable in the third iteration three and so on by the end of this first cycle, the my list variable will be written onto the result file, followed by a normal variable that is v. v contains a literal string that is end of iteration to indicate the end of iteration for the main repeating group, for the main repeating group, followed by the map anchor. Now the mapping anchor here is going to reset the my list variable. Here, the temporary variable v underscore replacement will be mapped onto my list, and this way we are going to clear my list. So, in the si so in the second iteration, my list will now contain five six seven eight instead of pending five six seven eight to the previous values. Let us now run the DT project. As seen in the first iteration, it contains 1, 2, 3, 4. As you see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4 was appended to the my list. So if my list was a normal variable, 2 would have overwritten 1, 3 would have overwritten 2, and so on. Whereas this being a list variable, they have been appended. By the end of first iteration, my list was reset. So in the second iteration, you see that 5, 6, 7, 8 are the only values contained in my list. So this is one of the methods of resetting a list variable. These are the references that were used for creating this video KB. KB article number 158083 and the B2B data transformation studio user guide. We would love to hear from you. Please write to us on supportvideos at informatica.com twitter.com slash infasupport. Thank you.